housemates and welcome to yet another video so today we are going back to tariff systems and guys i've been trying to upload as many videos as i can recently because i am very much well aware that you guys will be sitting down for your trial examination papers very soon and i want you to be as prepared as possible so today i'm going to show you how you should work your way around a question where you have been given a certain amount of money and you have to calculate how many kiloliters of water that the person that is paying that certain amount of money has consumed or has used. So we have a question here from a previous paper. They tell you that a uh, stepped residential water tariff and you have been given the kiloliters per connection per month right there. And they have also given you the tariff rates for the 2018-2019 year and your rates have been given to you in rents per kiloliters. And they also tell you that those rates over there do not include 15% of VAT. They say that prices exclude 15% VAT. So those amounts right there do not have 15% VAT inside of them, right? And then the question says a household in Johannesburg paid 132 rands 7 cents including VAT. Use the tariff table above to determine the amount of water that was used by this household. So usually we know that um, when a question comes in terms of tariffs, they give you the amount of kiloliters that someone has used and you have to calculate the amount of money that they have to pay. But in this case, you have been given the money that this person has paid and you have to determine the amount of water that this person has used. So this is how we are going to answer the question. And guys, before I can get into it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my videos as well, just to show some appreciation and to give me a little bit of motivation for the work that I do for you guys. Okay, now let's get to the question. So uh, let's read the question again. They say that a household in Johannesburg paid 132 rands 7 cents, including VAT. Use the given tariff table to determine the amount of water that was used by this household, right? So I think most of you remember this table from the first uh, tariff table, I mean tariff system video that I uploaded. And please, if you haven't watched the first tariff system video that I uploaded, please go and watch it first because there's a lot of things that you need to know that are included in the video that I'm not going to include in this one. So we are going to use the similar method in order to find the amount of water that this household has used. So uh, as you know, we're just going to copy the information that was given to us on the table. Uh, the information that was saying, uh, block one says uh, from zero to six kiloliters, which basically just means zero to six, right? And then block two says, six to ten and then block three says ten to fifteen uh sorry ten to fifteen ten to fifteen and then block four says fifteen to twenty so this is the information that is given to us on our question right and then on this one on this column we are going to write the intervals between these numbers we're going to write the intervals, right? So from zero to six, it's six. We have six kiloliters. And then from six to 10, we have four. You just say 10 minus six, it gives you four, right? And then on this one, you're going to say 10 minus, I mean, 15 minus 10, and that gives us five. And then on this one, you're going to say 20 minus 15, it also gives us five. So these are the numbers that we are going to multiply with, right? These are the, are the intervals between these numbers. From 0 to 6, it's 6. From 6 to 10, it's 4. From 15 to, I mean, from 10 to 15, it's 5. I think you get it by now. So on this column, we are going to write the prices that were given to us on the table, right? So for block 1, uh, they have given us, uh, they have given us 8 rand 28 cents. 8 rand 28 cents. And then block 2 is... 8 rand 79 cents block 3 is 15 rands and block 4 is 21 rand 83 cents 
right? So this is the information that has been given to us. We were given the intervals and the prices. So we had to determine the numbers between the intervals, right? So now we can start to multiply. But before we multiply, uh, let's go back to the question and check for some important information. So the question, the money that has been given to you on the question, they tell you that the money that was paid by the household has VAT inside of it, has VAT included in it, right? And when you remember, if you remember very carefully, you will remember that the money that has been given to us on our tariff table does not include VAT. It has been stated that the prices exclude 15% of VAT, right? But the money that was paid by the household includes VAT inside of it, right? So that means that because the money that has been given to us has VAT, but the money on the table does not have VAT. That means that we have to do what? We have to subtract the VAT from the money that has been paid by the family in order for us to use the money to get the amount of water that they used. So uh, the family paid an amount of 132 rands and 7 cents. This is the money that was paid by the family. And this money has VAT inside of it. But these amounts does not have VAT, right? So this means that we have to subtract VAT from this uh, amount of money so that means that we are going to use the vet exclusive method right so if you don't know how to calculate vet exclusive please go and watch the video uh, i uploaded a video talking about vet as well so this is how we're going to do it you're going to say 132 and 7 cents multiply by 100 over 115 over 115 right so basically we are looking for 100% over 115% of this amount, right? So we're going to click this on the calculator and say 132,7 cents multiplied by 100 over 115. So that gives us an amount of 114 rands. 84 cents so this is the money that was paid by the household excluding vet right so now we have the money that was paid by the family and it does not have vet and the numbers on the table as well does not have vet so this means that we can start with the calculations and determine the amount of water this household used all right, so now that we have um, simplified our tariff table that were given to us on the question, and we also have the amount of money that was paid by the household excluding VAT, we can now go to the next step of finding the answer. So now this column, we are going to use this column to do what? To multiply. So we're going to start with block one. Remember we have a uh, block one block two block three and block four right so we are going to start with block one so block one we have six kiloliters and we have 828 cents so we're just going to say six kiloliters multiply by eight rand 28 cents which is the amounts that we have on block one right so we are also going to write the, the answer on the same line so we're going to say six multiplied by eight rand 28 cents and it gives us a total of 49 rands 68 cents. So this is the, the amount of money that was charged um, for the first block, which is for the first six kiloliters of water, right? So we're going to take that money that the household paid, which is 114 rands 84 cents. We are going to take it and subtract the money that we found on the first block, which is 49 rands, oh sorry, which is 49 rands 68 cents. And that leaves us with, so we're going to say 114,84 minus 49,68. And that leaves us with a total of 65 rand 16 cents, right? So now that we have calculated the amount for the first block and subtracted it from that money that the family paid, that means that we know that we have six kiloliters for the first block. That means that we are certain that they have definitely used six kiloliters. So we're going to put it here and say, that means that they have already used six kiloliters. But because we still have some money left, we still have to determine the money for, I mean, the kiloliters for this money, right? So that means that we go to block number two. Block number two, on our interval, we have four kiloliters and on our money, we have 8.79 cents. So we're going to say 
4 kiloliters multiply by 8 rand 79 cents and let's see how much that gives us so it's 4 multiplied by 8,79 and that gives us 35 rand 16 cents 35 rand 16 cents right so we are going to take the 65 rand 16 cents that we, we were left with when we subtracted the money for block one so we're going to take it and say 65 rand 16 cents minus the money that we found on block two right so uh, after calculating every amount after calculating the money for every block we minus it from that money that the household paid right so we were left with 65 rand 16 cents so we say 65 rand 16 cents and minus 35 rand 16 cents which is the money that we found for block two so we say uh, 35 rand 16 cents so we're going to say 65 rand 16 cents minus 35 rand 16 cents and that leaves us with 30 rands it leaves us with 30 rands right so uh because we still have some money left that means that we are certain that they have also used four kiloliters as well so we're going to write it here as well and say block two they have used four kiloliters so so far what we know is that the family has used uh, 6 kiloliters and 4 kiloliters so that means that so far we know that they have used 10 kiloliters but we still have to determine the amount of kiloliters for the money that we are left with so we are going to go to block number 3 block number 3 we have 5 kiloliters right and we have 15 rands right so we are going to say 5 kiloliters multiplied by 15 rands and let's see how much that gives us 5 multiplied by 15 uh, it gives us 75 rand so i need you to listen to me very carefully to the, on this one right so we are uh, we have 75 rands on block number three but we are only left with 30 rands so we cannot say 30 rands minus 75 rands it's going to give us a negative so that means that uh, this method we cancel it it's incorrect so we were doing what we call a trial and error method we have tried this method and found out that it is not correct so that means that we have 30 rands ne? we were left with 30 rands so we take 30 rands and because the money that we got on block 3 is more than the money that we were left with that means that we are going to have to divide we are not uh, subtracting anymore and we are not going to divide by 75 we are going to divide by the money that they charge on block 3 so let me repeat this uh, for block 3 I said 5 multiplied by 15 which is the same thing that I was doing with the other blocks right I said 5 multiplied by 15 and it gave us 75 rands and I realized that we were we were left with 30 rands and 75 rands is more than 30 rands we cannot say 30 rands minus 75 rands it is going to give us a negative and that is not what we're looking for so that means that we have to cancel that method for block 3 and use another one which is that we have to take the money that we were left with on block 2 and divide it by the charge for block 3 so the charge for block 3 is 15 rands so that means that we're going to say 30 rands divide by 15 rents and that gives us uh, and the, the amount that we're going to get is not money the answer to 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 this one is not going to give us uh, money but it was it will give us what kiloliters so we're going to say 30 divide sorry divide by 15 and that gives us two so this two is two kiloliters it's not two rands because we took the money that we were left with and we divided it by the charge that means that 30 rand pays for two kiloliters on block number three so that means that we have six kiloliters and four kiloliters and two kiloliters as well so now let's calculate the total amount of kiloliters that they have used so we have what we have six kiloliters which they used on block number one plus 4 kiloliters which they used for block 2 plus 2 kiloliters that we got from from block 3 which is 2 kiloliters so when we add them all together 6 sorry 6 plus 4 plus 2 that gives us a total of 12 kiloliters so this means that the household has used 
12 kiloliters and for 12 kiloliters they have paid 114 rand 84 cents and when they included vet in the money that they have to pay it gave them it gave them the total of 132 and 7 cents so this is how we work with the question where you have been given money and you have to determine the amount of water that was used so just to summarize um everything that i've told you today is that if you have been given the money that has vet in it and the prices on the table does not have vet that means that you have to start by doing what by excluding vet and finding the money without vet so when you're done with that you take it step by step so you start with block one you multiply the money for block one and then you take it and subtract it from the money that the family has paid and then after that you go to the second block you, you calculate the money and then you subtract it from the money that you were left with when you subtracted the money from block one and then on block three we also do the same so when it comes to a, a point where the money that you get when you multiply on the table is more than the money that you were left with what you have to do is that you have to take the money that you were left with and divide it for the charge for that block that you're trying to figure out the amount for and the amount that you're going to get will no longer be money but it is going to be kiloliters like on this case we will we got 75 rents here and the 75 rent was more than the money that we were left with because we were left with 30 rents so we were forced to take the 30 rents and divide it for the money uh i mean and divide it with the money that is on the block that we are trying to calculate which is block three in this case so we said 30 divided by 15 and it gave us two kiloliters so we added together all the kiloliters and this is how we do it guys this is how we determine the amount of water that has been used thank you so much for watching this video i hope that you have learned a thing or two from this video and good luck on your exams may goodness and grace lead you to the great heights of success